Today, Virgin Galactic's billionaire founder, Sir Richard Branson, arrived in the Mojave Desert, where a space rocket crashed on a test flight yesterday. He's vowing to find out what went wrong and pursue his dream of commercial space travel. But as Arthi Pohl reports, the industry may be on shaky ground. Scattered over more than three kilometers in the Mojave Desert, pieces of Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2, now the center of an investigation by the National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration. In testing the boundaries of human capabilities and technologies, we are standing on the shoulders of giants. Yesterday, we fell short. We are determined to find out what went wrong. Virgin Galactic's owner, Richard Branson, arrived in Mojave this morning, along with as many as 15 investigators from the NTSB now combing through the wreckage. Test flights, they say, are typically very well documented. That will make our job simpler and make us able to find out not only what happened, but also, more importantly, why it happened. The spaceship was expected to start taking tourists into space in the next few years. 700 tickets at $250,000 each already sold to potential space tourists. But yesterday, a catastrophic setback. Shortly after the spacecraft separated from its carrier vehicle, an explosion. Just a big puff, a big white puff uh, immediately at that point. Uh, I knew that something had went really horribly wrong. One test pilot was killed, another seriously injured. At the Mojave Air and Space Port, a flag flies at half-mast. The test community is very small, and uh, we are human, and it hurts. But, they say, the risks of space exploration are well known to all involved. Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield sent a message to Branson saying, as a former test pilot, crashes and even deaths were frequent. It is a known part of the business, little solace but reality. Pushing the bounds of knowledge and possibility comes with unavoidable risk. This team is a group of the bravest, the brightest, the most determined and the most resilient of people. That team has dealt with tragedy before. In 2007, three people were killed during a ground test accident involving the same spaceship. Now, the company says it will continue to move forward, but there may now be a new obstacle. After another death during testing, will people still want to fly? Arthi Pohl, Global News, Washington.